Today's episode of Variant is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome to Variant One Shot. As most of you know, I was able to attend the Captain America Civil War world premiere last Tuesday, thanks to the great people over at Comic Cave Studios. Now, as the title of this video says, this is going to be a spoiler-free review, since, well, we're still about two weeks out from its release date, so I can't spoil it for you guys since none of you have seen it yet. Because if I did spoil it for you guys, I'm pretty sure I'd get lots, lots of hate mail, death threats, it wouldn't be fun, I'd lose sleep, so I'm not gonna do that. I thought this movie was absolutely incredible. It is currently my favorite live action superhero movie ever. Before Civil War, it was Winter Soldier, but Marvel Studios and the Russo brothers outdid themselves with this movie. It's a movie where everything works, like everything Marvel Studios and the Russo brothers were trying to accomplish worked. And let me tell you, there's a lot of characters and a lot of pieces in this movie, but it all worked together seamlessly. Marvel Studios just translates the characters from the comics so well to the big screen, it's insane. The way Marvel Studios built their universe with Iron Man being the first movie and then we got the Incredible Hulk and so on and so forth just works so well. And now we're getting the payoff with the Avengers movies, the Winter Soldier movie, and now Civil War. Because now we already know all these characters and they can just throw them in a situation and have fun with them. And boy oh boy do they have fun. Lots and lots of fun. This film has a decent amount of sense of humor in it, but it's like very subtle stuff that works great. It breaks up the seriousness and the action very well. Speaking of action, this is some of the best action I've seen in a Marvel Studios film thus far. It's a feat in itself that the Russo brothers made action scenes that have 10 plus superheroes in it work and not feel like a confusing mess. Another thing I loved about the Russo brothers action and choreography is that they do cool things but don't linger on it too long. They're like, oh, that's no biggie, which makes it even cooler. Kind of like the scene in Winter Soldier where Winter Soldier is fighting Captain America and he's doing all that cool knife stuff. They show it so flippantly, but it's freaking amazing. Just everything about this movie was completely balanced. It had the right amount of action, the right amount of seriousness, the right amount of humor. Just everything was balanced so well. Now let's talk about the two new characters everyone is excited to see in this movie. Black Panther and Spider-Man making their Marvel Cinematic Universe debut. Let's start with Black Panther. First of all, they introduced him into this movie flawlessly. He fits into the story great and he has a really good arc. If you like Black Panther, just know they do him justice and it made me proud because I like Black Panther a lot. But that's all I can really say without getting into spoiler territory. But those claws, though, those claws. That's all I can say. I can't say anything else. But the claws. I can't say anything. The claws. Can't say anything else. And of course, probably what people are most excited for, at least I know I was, is Spider-Man being in this movie. Want to know my thoughts on Spider-Man being in this movie? Of course you do, because you're currently watching a video on my thoughts about Civil War. Anyway, he's home, guys. Spider-Man is home and Marvel is taking such good care of him. I was kind of like the Grinch watching him because my heart kept growing bigger and bigger the more he was on screen. It just made me so happy. Without question, Tom Holland is now the definitive Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Guys, Spider-Man was so good. He was so dang good. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, but third time's a charm and this proves it. You guys know, first and foremost, I'm a fan. I've been reading this stuff my whole life. I watch all the movies, all the cartoons, and this Spider-Man is literally torn from the comics and cartoons and put into a live action movie. It's everything I've ever wanted. Now, some of you may be like, whoa, Eris, you are praising this movie and fanboying out hardcore right now. Yes. Yes, I am, because this movie was great. I mean, there was one thing in this movie that was a little eh, but I can't really say it because it's spoilerish. but it wasn't even that big of a deal. Anyway, you guys know I'm not gonna stand here and lie to you and tell you I love something if I don't. For instance, Batman v Superman. I liked it, but I personally didn't think it was amazing by any means. It had a lot of cool moments, and I wish I did love it, since Batman is my favorite character, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Having said that, Captain America Civil War was fantastic. It's my favorite live action superhero movie to date. When this thing hits theaters, you guys gotta see it so we can talk about it, because I wanna do a spoiler review so I can let it out. I need to let it out. There's so much cool stuff that needs to come out. I need to let you guys know. In summary, Captain America Civil War, Thank you, comic book gods. Before I wrap up today's episode, I want to thank Squarespace. Squarespace is the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or online store for you and your ideas. Squarespace features elegant interface, beautiful templates, and incredible 24-7 customer support. Their sites look professionally designed regardless of skill level, and there's no coding required. They have intuitive and easy-to-use tools, and you get a free domain if you sign up for a year. Start building your website today at squarespace.com and enter the code variant at checkout to get 10% off. So what are you waiting for? Go make an awesome website and get 10% off.